If you're looking for a compact and versatile gimbal that's perfect for vloggers and content creators on the go, then the Zion Crane M2S gimbal could be just what you're looking for. This is a three axis handheld gimbal, and if you don't know what a gimbal does, then it's designed to stabilize your camera and help you capture smooth and steady footage. Gimbals like these are compatible with a wide range of cameras and smartphones up to a particular weight, and that includes the lens that you have attached to your camera as well. This gimbal sits perfectly between the Crane M2 and the M3. The M2 is less expensive and has less features compared to this one and has a smaller weighted capacity, while the M3 is more expensive and has more features compared to this one and can carry a larger weighted setup. So knowing this about each of the three gimbals should allow you to make a more informed decision about which gimbal might be suitable for you. Before we have a look at the details, let's have a look what you get in the box. There are two different kits that are available to purchase. There's the combo kit in which you get additional to the items that you get in this standard set. You also get a phone grip if you want to use your phone on the gimbal and a nice carry bag. So you do get this storage box with everything in, including the standard documentation. A quick release aluminium mount plate for your camera or phone. A mini tripod that attaches to the bottom of the gimbal for positioning when stationary or as an extension to the gimbal handle length. A camera screw lock for the mount plate. And three Zion branded USB cables, a USB-C to micro USB cable, a USB-C to USB-C cable. Both of these will allow you to connect your gimbal to the camera and depending on which output your camera has will depend on which cable you use. I have the Sony ZV-10, so with that camera, I'll be using the USB-C to USB-C cable. And the final cable, a USB-C to USB cable for charging the gimbal. Four fill light filters that attach magnetically onto the gimbal light. And the Crane M2S gimbal itself. It weighs 549 grams, is made out of aluminium and plastic, and allows for tilt, roll, and pan movements at these ranges. Each of which will have to be manually adjusted to balance your camera setup. It has a nice gripping handle on the front and back, which gives your hand comfort and access to all of the gimbal's buttons. There's a directional joystick for easy movement around the menus on the 0.66 inch display screen, with a mode button and a record button if your camera is connected to the gimbal. On the other side, a menu button and the power switch. On the back, there's a pan axis lock switch and a trigger button, which double pressing will reposition the gimbal. Triple pressing will make the gimbal rotate 180 degrees for that vlogging orientation and pressing and holding will put it into go mode. On the other side, a switch to activate the fill light and then further pressing will increase or decrease to the five levels of light intensity up to 1000 lumens of brightness at a colour temperature of 5500K to your close-up subject. And this can be done with or without those fill light filters attached. And a USB-C slot for firmware upgrades and charging which supports up to 12 watt PD fast charging of one hour 41 minutes for the gimbal and allows for a runtime of just over 12 and a half hours. Although in practice, I've managed to get between about seven or eight hours. There's a quarter thread slot for attaching other accessories. At the bottom, there's another quarter thread slot for the mini tripod. To prevent the gimbal from getting damaged when it's not in use and making balancing the gimbal easier, each different axis is locked in place by default with its own easy located red switch, which can be unlocked. The mount plate features a V-shaped design and dual safety locks, which means that your precious camera isn't simply just going to fall out. There's a USB-C slot on the arm next to where the camera sits that can be used to connect the camera and the gimbal directly, offering a function to that record button and a charge facility to it as well. The menu is very simple. There are calibration options, options to adjust the motor speed and thumbstick sensitivity. The display could be a bit brighter, but it shouldn't be an issue as you can easily make out what mode you're in when you're shooting. With its memory lock balancing, the M2S can be easily finished and preserved, saving much trouble of readjustment every time. But 
to get there you need to balance it first which can be particularly frustrating for someone who is new to gimbals just like with any other gimbal and remember if you're using different cameras or a different lens on a particular camera you don't need to readjust for every different setup particularly if there's a significant weight difference unlocking the particular axis you want to balance and then along with the adjustment clamp you will need to slide the camera along the axis until it is balanced and then repeat twice more sounds easy in theory so let's go and have a look at the six different modes on this gimbal in practice in the card so the first mode is pan follow which the gimbal will follow your pan movements left and right while maintaining the tilt and roll levels lock which keeps the camera facing the same direction no matter which position the gimbal is in follow where the gimbal keeps the camera level with the horizon or following tilt and pan movements but it will not roll point of view where the gimbal will follow all of your movements in a steady motion on all of the axes go mode which is similar to pov mode but the gimbal will react a lot quicker to your movements and vortex mode where the gimbal will switch the camera angle so it's facing upwards allowing you to shoot barrel roll movements i find this mode where the gimbal can struggle and lose balance if you have a setup that is slightly too heavy although my regular combined setup of the sony zv10 and the sigma 16 lens isn't listed as compatible on the zone list due to the weight of the lens i'm able to access all of the modes except the vortex mode one of the things i love about this gimbal is that it's compact size it's not too big compared to other expensive gimbals on the market but it's still powerful enough to handle a variety of cameras and lenses another great feature of this gimbal is its intuitive controls it has simple and easy to use interface so that you adjust the settings and customize the gimbal to your liking you can also use the zy player to control the gimbal remotely and access additional features like motion time lapse mirror mode and panorama the app is handy in situations where you need to keep the gimbal static possibly because you're trying to capture footage where yourself being near the camera might be a hindrance or as i like to do using the trajectory photography feature for some 10 second b-roll that i might want to get i can automate the process where in that 10 seconds or however long i want it to be i can ask the camera to start in one place and end in another allowing me to get those smooth panning shots that i normally wouldn't be able to do handheld overall i think this gimbal is an excellent gimbal that's perfect for bloggers and content creators who are always on the go after they've got past the setup phase of course it's a shame that it's not compatible with more camera setups particularly ones with long lenses but despite this it's still compact versatile and easy to use and it's packed with features that's going to make it a great choice for anyone particularly novices to gimbals who want to capture smooth and steady footage so if you're in the market for a new gimbal i can you know recommend checking out the zion crane m2s but remember to check the compatibility of your camera first let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want to know about this gimbal and thanks for watching press the like button if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this and i'll see you in the next one